All right. This is it? Uh, this is how we'll start. Okay. Cheers. Fuck. Cheers, Bring lads. Hi, boys. Yep. All right, I'm taking. Let's uh, just do it. Woo! Oh, <sighs> fuck me. <laughs> I thought I could down it, but I couldn't. Really, climb. a whole thing of wine? Yeah. Uh, let's go with one more. Wine out of a mason jar. Oh, we're fucking savage as fuck. Mm. I want something to say while I'm doing the video. Welcome <laughs> to Q&A number three. Right? Can the parts don't matter. Three? It's just a QA. and a You're right. That's not These important. questions were asked like fucking two months ago. Literally two we months ago. forever to film it. We said we, we'd get around to answering every single question that got answered. That's what I'm saying. And that's what we're doing. We, will. we always do. So these we questions are very do. outdated and don't don't <coughs> and don't apply to life anymore. But that's okay. <laughs> Remember, I was talking about his voice always cracks just for 23 years. With that said, we're also gonna try one take the whole thing. So th which is why we're keeping that in. Yeah. So we have a special guest today. How you going, guys? Rockway, <laughs> legend. Yeah. Where are um, you from? Australia. 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 Australia, mate. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so quick background uh, on Brock. So he's been doing self-publishing for I don't know how long. It's not important. Yeah. Um, he's actually hit 10K. He's hit the 10K mark before, like multiple months in a row. But then some shit went down. You got fucked over by the Create Space to KDP print yeah. transfer. So I the, didn't point, the point is, is show Brock some goddamn respect. Yeah. He knows yeah. how to publish. People, yeah. people and also, don't realize that the change um, like, was fucking people over, but it is. Yeah. I had no idea. Seriously, yeah. I had no idea. Damn. So... And also, let's, let's just, so what is your to show people how much you got fucked over? So what's the most you've hit? Uh, like eleven k US. Okay, in a nice. Month. And um, what, um, less what, than ten bucks. Uh, it was like three books. Which is some <laughs> next level shit. That's some next level shit. Uh, so what's it at now? It so might, it's, it might be, it might hurt to say. Oh, what's honestly, say? it kills me. It kills yeah. me, but it just motivates me more. Mm -hmm. right. At the moment, just from KDP and paperback, it's like a grand a month. Damn. Yeah. But yeah. Audio shit's come along. Good. So yep. That I made like 600 the other week just from audio. So that's oh, fucking go. Gotta fucking drive. Yeah. That's fucking that's go. Just, get, on, get on audio books if you're not yes, on it. Yes. <laughs> that shit's mooning. And also, so. and also, <laughs> and also, you're gonna start a channel eventually. So this is Soon. just in preparation for that. Subscribe to Brock's channel. Show yeah. Brock some love. Yeah. Okay. No videos yeah, yet. Don't follow have me on Instagram. Yet. You'll find my YouTube later on when I make it. Brock when it comes. Underscore way. You'll eventually, you'll probably make some publishing videos. Like, oh, 100%. You, okay, make yeah, some yeah. publishing videos. Yeah, Talk about up. what the fuck you've learned from making over 10K from just three books. Yeah. Yeah, because we've been talking a lot about it, and you made that money from books I had no idea people made money from. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah no, nah, so it's definitely something I want get to get into, like self-publishing, mm -hmm. business in general, mm -hmm. motivation. Mm -hmm. Also, just letting people understand that make money online is is actually a thing. Like, yeah, it's not most real. people are still skeptical and don't yeah. think it's real. Oh, it's ninety nine percent of people are still yeah. skeptical about it, and uh. it's the shit. Uh -huh. And you can pretty much you can do it. Like, don't mm -hmm. think that you can't because you mm -hmm. can. Right. So, and we've been telling you to make a YouTube channel. Yeah. Just because it's just a big step for anyone who's it super is. serious yeah. about it. So Rasmus told me to make one like three months ago, and yeah. I've still been sitting right. there like. Look, uh, uh, listen, we, we've so told our story. Exact, told so our story. it's the exact same situation we were in. It took us eight months to actually make the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's only when we got to the point where we had no other choice. Yeah, or if we didn't, we had to move back home. Fuck yeah. Like, there's no way. Yeah, yeah. So, like that's what it took yeah, for no, me. Yeah. Right. Like, so hopefully this is that for you. We can. Oh, 100 percent. Right. I'll be on to it, guys. Don't worry. Yes. Let's go. Okay. All right. We let's... want a one video in the next. So how long are you in Bali for? A uh, month. Before you leave Bali. Your first video. Okay. Okay. All right. First second video. And done. Yeah. Done. Right. Don't let's do it. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the questions. All right, first one is from Richard Hislop. Two questions. First, can you talk more about how you guys decide the best money moves to make for the day and week and how you make sure you get the done faster? Any tips that you have found for getting the publishing process and ACX publishing process done faster and publishing more books? Okay, yeah. okay. We, so said, we said two questions per person. Yeah. You can't just slide four into one <laughs> and call it one question. But okay. I'll say quickly, how do you figure we don't out what the money moves are? So we don't normally do this, but what we've done, we've been working off of the last few days is a to-do list, uh -huh. as stupid as that sounds. Uh, we've had a to-do list. Yeah, if you and don't write it down, so many things yeah. just slide right over yeah, your head. Yeah, exactly. So use, do write things down. I use the uh, website todoist.com. Oh, is that and like an yeah, online to-do list? Yeah, yeah. Really? Just like on your computer, 
go on to doist.com and you have you just set out your shit for the day and then once you click it off it's, it goes away so your list gets mm. shorter and shorter oh, nice. and you feel like you're actually getting somewhere oh, nice. and um yeah you don't Damn, fucking what i do is what the day till you're done basically nice, nice. What I, I do is what, when, when I complete something, I just highlight it in red mm-hmm. in a Word doc. Yeah. But yeah, same purpose. Uh, a to-do list, as old-fashioned as that sounds, yeah. like that shit works. Mm, 100%. Uh, and uh, I, you got to prioritize yourself, what's important and what isn't important. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of questions to get through. Right, so. right. So, to-do list. When was the moment you guys realized you were finally free for we good? We didn't answer. Oh, we, right, like, we still got to answer the other questions he asked in his... Any tips water. that you have found for getting the publishing process? You're right. Yeah. And ACX publishing process done faster and publishing more books. Oh, uh, man. I mean, uh, Don't be proactive focus. and not reactive. Uh-huh. For example, like, once you get your book back, oh, then I'm going to have the cover made. Like, no, have the cover made while your book is being written. Start talking to narrators before you have your book back. Shit like that. Yeah. So all in all, be proactive yeah. and not reactive about shit. Uh-huh. So that you're, yeah, working on a lot of things at once. Not like you can only do one job at a time. But at the same time, it takes the time it takes. Like, it will it take... It takes a, minimum yeah. six weeks. Yeah. That's, minimum, that's the that's bare minimum. minimum. Yeah. Minimum. Bare minimum. We'd love to get that. But yeah. everyone has been complaining about it. it's taking a lot longer. Yeah. So, and to break it down, like, two... Why say six weeks? Two weeks for writing, two weeks for narration, two weeks for the audible review process. Mm-hmm. So, six weeks is a good goal. Next question. When was the moment that you guys realized you were finally free for good, that you'd done it? And had accomplished your goal of living the digital laptop lifestyle. So, can I give the answer real quick? Yeah, yeah. My answer is, I never had that that moment. Yeah. I never had that moment. I'm, now, like, I'm we, trying we, to think. We, Rastas, we've never been 9 to 5 slaves. I know, you're right. So, it was never like, oh, I'm free. Yeah. I mean, I've never... The time it did happen was when we moved from home back in September 2017. To Thailand. Yeah, that's right. technically when it happened. But it wasn't like I, a, I didn't feel... It wasn't... Yeah, because you also don't know what's going to happen next. Right. You don't know that yeah. this is going to last. It could have crashed and burned. Yeah. So. I, I can relate to that, though, because like, I worked full-time for nine months straight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, when I hit that first... When I just made the first few sales and if, like just the, the check came to my bank account that first month, I think it was like 700 bucks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was when I was like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. I need to like... I need to fucking take this shit seriously, you know? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, um, it was just gonna stay where it was or drop. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And you're at the point now the, where oh. you're never going back to a job. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Ever. Fuck no. Ever. If I have Fuck to, no. it'll be part time just to get more money. Because uh-huh. you can't have that mindset. Like, if, 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 that there's, you might have to, like, get a job to get the money so you, you can invest. You have to yeah. be humble enough to yeah. be able to. To realize, I would be yeah. honest. If I was ever put in that situation, dude, I don't even know if I could do oh, that. Oh yeah, you would try dude, everything I mean, you can dude, before. Uh, I'd yeah. probably rather suck <laughs> on the corner. <laughs> my, not the same way. Then I'll go back to a job. Because that's mm. like freelancing. You're still an entrepreneur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In, sa- in saying that, I would do that <laughs> sucker. In saying that, like freelancers make I'm a shit out of money. Gig. Yeah. Like you can make a lot of money from freelancing. Yeah, you yeah. can. You know, you're yeah. right. I would do freelance. Work. Yeah, I would do that instead of getting a job. Yeah. Let me take a slug real quick. Yeah. Um, right, this answer, is way too many questions. Did we answer that question? <laughs> he, yeah, I have it written as like, oh, here's a question. Listen, there's, there's literally four question okay. marks in this one. All right, question. all right, Richard, we love you, but you're breaking the rule. <laughs> you got <laughs> ten questions in, and two, you sly <laughs> raccoon. All right, so next from Celine, our oh, little sister asked some questions. Yeah, here. our little sister. All right, her question: Before you started with the online businesses, was there a specific moment in your lives where you thought? Nope, I'm done with this shit. I can't keep doing this. <laughs> uh, yes. That kind of propelled you into Kindle and online business. Yeah. Again, not, not, let me finish. Not English. necessarily talking about just the idea of a nine to five job being unbearable, but an actual encounter that was the breaking point for it all. Oh, uh, I never, fuck. I have not, not had that breaking point. No, not Let's one moment. Like I know a, you, it sounds good for the video to have this breaking point that changed everything. I didn't have that. Just as a whole, I just hated going to work, which is just a, it's a part-time job, but mm-hmm. uh, and the whole time I was just like, this can't be, this yeah. can't be it. Guys, like this, get this, this is, is it, this is it, yeah. this is life. Yeah. That's supposed to be sick. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. and but I haven't had a full-time job. Yeah, ever. Yeah, Dude, like, we, we, had, looking, we had it too good. If you're not looking forward to getting out of bed and waking up, I think that is like a huge sign. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. you're oh, not doing the right thing. Yeah, if you're complaining about it. Yeah, you know, you don't want to get up. Mm-hmm. You fucking hate your life. Then. Yeah. Do it, something else that you actually want like, to do. I have moments it's where weird. I can't sleep at night because I'm so excited to wake up in the yes. morning. Yes. Like, my, yeah. my alarm is always set to 7. I normally wake up earlier than that because, like, fuck it. I don't yeah, want to get up. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to wait for this yeah. damn alarm. It's yeah. so crazy. Like, for us, I don't know, a lot of people accept the a shitty life that they have. 
and it's hard for them to kind of actually take action and do something about it. For us, it's the opposite. Like, mm-hmm. it, it's so natural to not to not put up with whatever bullshit that you shit, are going yeah. through in life, like a job right. or whatever. Mm. Which uh, leads which to I don't even know what to say about that. That's just video natural. idea. Video it just idea doesn't comprehend it now. I know. Head. I know. Video so, idea I need to write down. Yeah. Uh, the conversation we were having yesterday, Gary V versus Grant Cardone, mm-hmm. is like the entrepreneurship mindset DNA or taught? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, mean, this was suggested that it's DNA. DNA versus Yeah, I, I think that it's more DNA. So yeah. we oh, yeah. we have a round table video just talking about this shit. Yeah, with Gavin. Where's Gavin? Yeah. No, we'll introduce him in another video. Mm-hmm. So Celine's second part, or second question, not really much of a question. But describe the perfect day in the life of a Mickelson, in the of a Mickelson twin consists of. That doesn't make sense, but I know what the question means. Okay. For me, there's three uh, things. It starts going to Krispy Kreme, getting two, <laughs> two oh. dozen original oh. Gaze donuts. Oh, That's how the day fucking starts. Mm. Okay. <laughs> the perfect day. Oh, man, I have so many questions about like, is it gotta be? Is this gonna be my every day? Cause like, no, one be three hundred pounds in a few weeks. No, 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 one fucking day. Don't, don't, okay. don't make it so complicated. I, oh, I'd, I'd be eating all day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd be eating all day. Yeah, seriously, real. Um, yeah, and making money all day. Yeah, making a lot of course sales. Mm-hmm. Shit like that. That's a good day. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go on to the next one. By, from Robin Verma. Approximately, how long does it take for each stage of an audiobook's creation? For each stage. Oh, I answered this before. Two, yeah, two weeks for writing, two weeks for narrating, two weeks for reviewing by So ACS. thanks for the question, Robin, but we're going to move on. Yeah. I'm currently on track to writing five to seven books a week. Writing five to seven books a week? Gangster shit. Maybe he's talking about having them written. I don't know. But probably won't be able to afford the upfront cost for outsourcing. That's expensive. Until I get paid more for the ebooks and paperbacks. Do you guys think it would be wise to do a royalty split for some books to speed up the process? No, 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 because no, you're just thinking way, way too short term. You're, right? thinking, you're uh, thinking this month. Imagine ten years from now, yeah. or I guess the contract goes seven years, but five years from now, yeah, even you'll just regret one, it. Even just, mm-hmm. even just one year from now, you're right. So no, the answer no, is no, no, absolutely. Not. Uh, I know it'll make less money in the long run, but it'll get the ball rolling faster, I think. So there is a point to that. Yeah, what's the point? He'll get some money now that he can then and invest in more books, which yeah. he couldn't do previously. But I'm still gonna stick with my guns and say no. Yeah. Or is it more logical to save more money and then pay everything up front and keep the royalties? I'd say yes. Dude, you gotta what? work more hours. Exactly, or that's what I was gonna say. Do what I said before, do some freelance corner work. <laughs> <laughs> some freelance corner work. <laughs> no, that's a fair suggestion. Okay, number 32. From Martin, I love you, but we're not gonna spend too much time on this question. What do you think about ACX merging with KDP Print? We were talking about this. That doesn't even make sense. Do you have insider information <laughs> about <laughs> ACX <laughs> merging with KDP Print? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it means create space with, with KDP print. Uh, with KDP. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, it actually, well, it fucked it up. It plays Rock a big, big time, role. Yeah. So fuck life. that. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Well, so far, KDP print seems gay. <laughs> it's good it's that it's gay. on one platform. That's, what that's nice. That is nice. That is nice. I just like, I like create space. It I was, don't know why. Know, it's just the, the I sales the uploaded dashboard, during the day. Yeah, yeah, the dashboard was sick. You could see exactly what books. Yeah, were yeah. yeah. Oh, that that's so fuck fucking annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you can't now see that. Now you say that. KDP. Fuck KDP for like. I don't even know. Right, I don't know what my best sellers are yeah. unless I go in and <laughs> yeah, check them one by check, one. And it takes forever. Who the fuck decided on that? Yeah. Stupid as hell. Yeah. All right, next question from Rob Farrington. The majority of my current books are around one to two hours. We'll be making three-hour ones in the future. Would you recommend bundling them in sets of two to reach the three-hour threshold, or bundling, making bigger bundles to reach five or even ten-hour thresholds? Make I, three-hour three. bundles. Yeah, do the three-hour three hour. because just, so just the, the jump from the one-hour price point to the three-hour price point—that's the big jump. Mm-hmm. The the three to the five is only a five-dollar, which so twenty-five percent increase. 33% actually, yeah. uh, but the other one is more than double. Yeah, you, so. can, have, you can basically have two so just $15 two books bundles. or one $20 two book. Two book bundles, you yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, each of your favorite places you visited on your travels, I'm talking holy moly, jaw to the floor, unbelievable. I say the same thing every time, I feel like I already, people already know it. Um, Hawaii? Yeah, okay. Hawaii is my favorite place in the yeah. world, it really is. Yeah. It just had like the most amazing beaches, I love the surfing culture, mountains, waterfalls, uh-huh. like fucking cliff jumping, hikes, yeah. everything. Yeah. It was insane. So, so I'll say like one specific day, to me that was the most epic recently, was the first day in Egypt. Yeah. That, I thought that one was really epic. Yeah. So we lived 
uh, right by the pyramids, rooftop view, view. right there of what the we like, ate breakfast uh, with a view of the pyramids. Then did a camel ride around the pyramids, and then we rode through ATVs in the desert. It was, it was we got such cool pictures. Uh, we'll throw up a few of them there. Bang, bang, bang. But yeah, I thought that was the best day of our recent travels. Yeah. But you'd say that was that was your favorite place. Yeah. I don't want to get too technical, but yeah. Yeah. Egypt was intense as fuck. Hawaii, Maldives was the most like surreal. No, well stuff. actually the most beautiful place I remember is Isma Harris in Mexico. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Isma Harris is awesome. More than Hawaii and honestly yeah. more than Maldives as well. Yeah, it's more an island in Mexico. Mexico. Right? Yeah, I agree with that. Let's see. Next question. I noticed some people in merch oh fucking merch. merch. Are in tier ten K and above. How many of those designs are unique and how many are scaled? You want you want me to call them and ask? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think a lot of them. Who asked that question? Peter P. Okay. Okay. I don't know who Peter P is, so I don't feel like a loyalty yeah. to like. I have no idea. Let's just say fuck yeah. merch. Yeah, yeah. Let's just, just say fuck, fuck merch and move on. Yeah. Uh, what would you do if you found a long lost third twin brother and if and he's kind of evil, like the evil twin brother you never knew you had? What would I do? Um, I oh you know what I do? I would make him into our second publishing manager. <laughs> I was gonna say I'd just make him buy the course. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely make him buy the course. Yeah. Um, but he's evil, so I don't know how that comes into play here. Yeah. I mean, Rez, we're two against like one. Like Hitler evil or like Rez, we're two against one. I don't know if he fits into this paradigm. No, if he's a, if he's a dick, <laughs> I'd beat his ass. Yeah, he's I'd evil, so he's a dick. <laughs> okay. We we, we pound we, his ass. We beat the evil out. <laughs> Pound his ass in what way? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. Evil twin. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't ready for that question. <laughs> no. so, all right, it makes me think a lot. Let's see if there's some other fun ones. Okay, next question from Ken McGuire. Okay, are you making pop sockets? What's your take? This is a super outdated because this question was asked like three months ago. Yeah, sorry. Pop sockets? No, fuck much. Yeah. No pop sockets. All right, all right, this is like some quick questions from Marcus Walter. It's like oh, the, oh, this or that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, from right, both no, of you. From both of you. Yeah. So you go first, and then I'll say second. Yeah. So you got you got less than two seconds to answer. All right, okay. Uh, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Pepsi if it's uh, if it's diet. Coke if it's not diet. Huh. Interesting. The the Alps or Maldives? Maldives. <laughs> Maldives. <laughs> it's easy. I guess if he's, asked, he's wondering if you're uh, if yeah. you're a beach person more more. Than, like cold and uh, snow. No, yeah. that's easy. Beach is fuck. Pizza or pasta? Beach. Beach. What? Beach. What did you say? Pizza or pasta? Oh, I thought you said beach, beach or <laughs> something else. <laughs> what? Um, pizza. Yeah. Pizza. That's easy. Yeah, that, that's easy. I mean pasta. Plain pasta. Yeah. I mean, I, well, anyway, anyway, let's not let's pasta. not stress the. <laughs> Uh, good book on the beach or party on the rooftop? Party. Party on the rooftop? Yeah, come on. Uh, phone call or text? Depends. <laughs> yeah, Depends. Yeah. Text. Phone, phone call? Phone call. Phone I call. like talking. Yeah, I'll say Business, phone call. definitely phone call. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. So this question was asked a long time ago, but now it actually really applies. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Is it easy for you to find a like-minded girlfriend while traveling? Mm. If not, I would love to hear more about your game plan on that, as mm. I am admiring a couple like Dale and Kelly mm. who can work together and build an empire. What's your take on the whole girlfriend business situation? Mm. I so, want to hear. So, so I want to hear what you say. Who asked that question? Um, Marcus Walter. Oh, okay. Marcus so, I guess when that question was asked, uh, we were both single. Now I kind of ran into that situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, traveling. So I guess I have a missus, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, you got a bird. <laughs> a bird. A bird. Um, so what was the question? So what, how, how do you, you, what's like the balance? How do you balance between that and, and business? You just, you, what's the whole girlfriend business You situation? have to figure out which one's your priority. And, and you have to make that one your priority. And which one is your priority? Uh, I mean, my priority is my business, but there's still room for other things i feel like they need to work. know they need to oh, know yeah, Brock that. has a fucking say on this as well yeah, yeah. so the, the girl needs to know where you're at and needs to know that you're going to be busy and you might not be able to make time for her and that you're going to put your business before her does oh. your bird know that yeah okay yeah. that's the reason i'm with her yeah. okay nice because right. she was cool with that yeah, yeah. If, she, yeah. if she wasn't it'd be right. like, no time. that's that's, one yeah. the that's it i'd always said like i'm not going to get into a relationship till i'm in my 30s Unless the perfect girl came along and whatnot, Sorry. I was that uh, as well, yeah. Right, um, but then, yeah, I think, I think it's worth a shot. She understands that 
what where my pr priorities are at, and uh, yeah, I want to I want to try it, uh, get the experience. And then part hmm. of that is like, it's easy to find a like-minded, so a girl that's like-minded. No, that's no, not, not easy. Not. <laughs> <It's> almost <laughs> impossible. I feel like this is the first one I've ever found in my life. Yeah. So no, not easy. All right. So the last question comes from. We're only to the last question. Yeah, yeah. We're actually on the last question. It comes from. Wow. Just one of the greatest humans on planet Earth, Big Robs. Oh, Big Robs. <laughs> yes. Talk to Big Robs about how you overcome discouragement and never settle. You've opened up about the multiple businesses you have started, as where most people quit after one or two attempts, you decide to go even harder. Mm -hmm. Life threw you boys lemonades and you made fucking beef stew out of it. <laughs> How? <laughs> <laughs> you adapt like water. How did you forge this mindset so early? What made you want to be different from your peers? How do you even communicate with old friends who don't value progressing? So I actually, so I'll thing, answer this one. Okay. Um, I also have shit to say, but yeah. I mean, so to the point where you like don't give up after one or two business attempts, right? To me, I just hate life so much having a job and being that way that it's literally do or die, you know? Uh -huh. Like I'd literally keep going until like I, I don't I don't know how to explain it. It's like, just no other it's option. It's just so exactly it's no other option. Like the urge is so strong yeah. that I don't care how many attempts it takes. Right. It's, and at that point, it literally becomes inevitable. And this is another video topic we were gonna. Right. But on gonna make. on top of that, so yes. So how right. how do you get that, dude? I don't know. I yeah, think I'm man. born with it. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I don't know. But on top of that, then there's also the aspect that we have the confidence, mm -hmm. the uh, <coughs> the hope's not the right word, mm -hmm. but the confidence knowing that uh, if we w w if we go into shit and give it a hundred percent, like mm -hmm. it's gonna work out. And that brings up like the. Uh, Gavin was just sharing this experiment with the rats. I thought this one was really interesting. Yeah. So it's about getting micro wins. Like, how do you build that confidence? Yeah. You get you achieve micro wins uh -huh. to build it up. So he's talking about a rat. Man, should I go on this? No, yeah, do it, do it. The thing okay. is important. Okay. So it's just some science experiment. Animal brutality aside, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, there's they put this rat in like a tub of water, and then they put an island in the middle, and then they had it swim around and like it. It couldn't, it, it couldn't swim forever, obviously. So yeah. it had to find land to be able to survive. So then it swims around for like 10 minutes and then it finds land. And then they did it to another one where they let it swim around for 30 minutes. And, and there, there was, was, no, there island. was no island in there. So there was nothing it could do. And then they eventually, they either took it out or they let it drown. No, well, no, they, they didn't need it for the next experiment. Right, right. So they, they took, took it out whilst it was drowning. Yeah. Before but it then, so then they ran the same experiment again. On, it was the next day. Then they, then they took the island out of both tubs. So then they put it on the first rat, which had reached the island. It swam around for, I'll use arbitrary number, 20 minutes before it, it like stopped trying and, and then drowned, drowned or whatever. And then the other one swam around for five minutes because it hadn't, it didn't have the confidence. It hadn't ever achieved a win before. It had never found land before. It had before. never found land before. So it had no hope. So then it gave up easily. Yeah. But the other one just kept on going and going and going because it knew uh, it had seen results before. Mm -hmm. It had achieved something and it had gotten that win. So I was like, oh, I know I can do this. I just got to keep going and I'll find land. What, when we talked about this last night, was it you or was it Jake? He was talking about Grant Cardone, like the way he would set micro wins. Oh, you know? Jake. No, and it would Jake. be like super, super micro wins. Yeah. Like to the oh. back when, I, I don't know Grant Cardone's story, when, when he was a drug addict. When yeah, you accomplish said. those little goals, that's mm -hmm. when you get the confidence. Yeah. And then you get the confidence to do the bigger thing. We yeah. experienced the exact same thing without realizing. Yeah. I want to say real quick, just, school. just with Grant Cardone, if I'm getting the story right, he was a drug addict, right? And his goal for that day was don't do drugs today. Yeah. That's that's my only goal. If I don't do drugs today, fuck yeah, I fucking did it. Yeah. Right? Look, look at me, and I cannot do drugs in a day. Yeah. Like how small of a win is that? But still, um, over time, yeah, next day he had the same goal. Yeah. And then did it again and again and again. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. I just achieved 30 goals in 30 days. And now you're like, wow, I'm the fucking man. Then you I can't believe I just did bit, that. Yeah. You know, and it's real. And, and it uh, we can talk about our experience with, with college and how that affected us. Yeah. But I won't, because I think we've talked about it before. Okay. Dude, that's every question. Okay, nice. That's every every question, question complete. Uh, Reses, go, go show him the cow. Oh, oh, no, you're going to make me do some shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is our cow. Uh. What's his name again? Ronald. Ronald. Ronald the cow. 
All right, outro the video. Outro the video. Okay. Uh, so what? Comment, like, subscribe. I don't want to do all that shit. Fuck. Oh, we always forget yeah, to plug. We plug Brock's channel, so okay, that's fine. that's good enough. Right. Um, so, so no, drop that cow emoji. Cow emoji. Shows a love for Ronald. <laughs> Watch the end. Cow emoji. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck it. That's it. Yeah. See you guys in the next video. Wait. Do, wait, wait. do the hand thing. Do the hand thing. What hand thing? The hand thing. Oh, oh see ya.